page slider here, slider revolution, and um, I need to change the background. And you can see it's kind of not, not too easy to find out where that is. So what I do to find the background, I click uh, this right here. And actually, I go to slides right here. You see slide number one. And we go to options right there. And then we can see uh, image. We can go to the, the media library. So, since I have their screenshot, I'm going to see what that looks like. Insert. Cool. So, see that that's kind of chopped off there, which is okay because I want to. I want to make it so that it says let our family care for yours over here. On their previous site, it said it right there. So I think they'll like it if it's right there. So we'll style this here and we will make that color white. And nobody's going to like anything on their face. So we're going to see if we can make this a little bit smaller here. I do. 85. It kind of wraps around his arm a little bit. Looks pretty good. Let's save it. Let's see how it looks. And that looks pretty darn cool. Uh, except for this, of course. So the his background clashes with the color of our banner. And so does everything about this picture. For some reason, the action bar does not let the menu or the header change, which is pretty weird. So everything just popped up there um, after I took that that uh, that top part off, which is pretty weird. So that's a new thing. Where is this search field? We don't want the search field anymore. We're going to hide that. Sometimes it might take a little while for changes to happen. Uh, if you have another web browser, you check it there. Yeah, see, it's still have that search field. We're going to ignore that for now. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Just had to go to a different page. <laughs> All right. So. Sure. Now let's change the rest of this right here. What, what could that say? I'm going to change that and the rest of the page. Okay. So another slider trick that I do here is you can see that this uh, clashes with a shirt here, and there's really nowhere else that I can put this to make it look better. So what I'm going to do is add a layer. Get a shape, and I'm going to put that shape, I'm going to size it right there. And then I'm going to right click it. That's not going to let me move it there. Okay, so I'm going to have to move it here. I'm going to have to move it down so that it's below that. And now that looks a lot better. That pops out. Okay, looks like I have no choice. I'm going to bring it back to transparency here because this guy's head keeps on getting chopped off, man. And that's not going to be good. He's not going to like that. So we'll go back. And we can see that you can't see this. So I'm going to have to do two things. I'm going to have to change this background here because it's white. I'm going to have to change it to a darker background. And I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to change the color here. So I go over here to colors. I do menu, link color. I do white, active link color. I'll make it do that. So we don't have a sub menu. We don't have to worry about that. Save changes. back 
and now you can't see the menu here but you can see the menu here but you cannot see that logo so I'm gonna have to do something about that do some hacker magic here I had to invert this logo this is like the most I guess I'm kind of happy that I did I picked this one because it has been the most tedious website yet I use this tool pinetools.com slash invert dash image dash dash colors I dragged it in here I inverted it so that it looks good on their site um, and now we're gonna get started again we're actually gonna go ahead we're gonna find we're gonna go to uh, Pixabay I'm gonna get a that's pretty cool now we go back to headers here we will change this to the darker one cool save changes I gotta make that menu when it drops down I have to make that white too so where was that style white we'll make it dark press save again and the top part of this darn website should actually look pretty good it's a work in progress what I could do is actually I can uh, we can remove this go into edit page here and subheader hide so let's see what that looks like cool so now we're just gonna have to put something here and we will do that easily. We're gonna make another section. We're going to get this, we're going to color that black, background color, press save, add a wrap, add an item, and we're gonna add a column. So this is just a placeholder here. There's gonna be nothing in here. And we're gonna make it bigger by putting a line break in, press space, click update, let's see needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's see how it would look on mobile. The, the menu would be right there. It's probably still updating. Should be black. Okay. We'll take this. Put a couple more line breaks. That looks better. It looks a lot better. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I think that was the About Us page. Was that the About Us? Is this the About Us page that has to do that? So all these pages are going to have to reflect that. So I'm going to take this column here, copy these line breaks, go to Services. Edit the page, hide the subheader, add a section, add a wrap, add an item, add a column, fill it up, pop that break in there, click save and update. Ah, forgot to put the, uh, forgot to make, make it black. So, I have to go back here this make the background color black and now we're good click update services is good awesome 